Our lone mailbag question is from Sandine Bobby Castiel, and he writes, Hello, Collider crew. You guys are my daily addiction. You guys have often mentioned how January and February are the toilet bowls of movie season, but I would argue the true dumping ground is September, not just because of the quality of the movies, but because of the lack of box office. September holds the lowest opening weekend of all 12 months, with it being Hotel Transylvania 2 with just under $50 million. Do you think with Hollywood starting to change things in January and February that September will follow suit and are there any upcoming September movies that you guys are uh, that it's worth getting excited about thanks and bring the filthy I'm kind of halfway with you Sam Dean I think it's less of a dumping ground and more of a ghost town it's 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 the period of time where the studios aren't releasing movies it's too early for the Oscar kind of nominated movies that they want to get out there which comes in October and mostly in November. December, you kind of get those family films and you get big blockbusters like a Star Wars The Force Awakens, mm -hmm. uh, which carries on through January and February. Now you had Deadpool in February killing it. Um, so I, I think it's less of a dumping ground and just more of there's not much going on. On a personal note, September is usually, I take, whenever I take a vacation, usually September is the time where I aim for because mm. I know here at Collider we cover movies that's the time where there's just not a lot of movies coming out and, and it's easier for me to get away. Christian? Yeah, you know what it is though, is that January is still the toilet bowl yeah. uh, because d January is just like, hey, let it loose. No one's looking. <laughs> yeah. As far as isn't that when Pompeii got released in I like think January? So. It's, it's horrible, but September is September is more like because once you get to the end, the first two weeks in August, you're still yeah. getting summer releases. Then you start getting garbage yeah. in the end of uh, August and then September it's almost like hey go to the bathroom and then but by the end of September it's like someone comes in with spray because like they you start like a match, the, well because you start to have some good movies come out towards because that's when the Oscar pushes start to, you might get a couple quality movies it's like the opposite of August as where those first two weeks in August are usually you still get some summer blockbusters and you get the the crap at the at the end and then the crap in the beginning of September and then the good movies at the end of September so I think that's kind of what it's been now, if studios are going to follow suit, like you're asking, I think that it's inevitable because there's just so much coming out. Um, now, I don't think that you're going to have it's going to be big blockbusters, but I think you might to start have more stuff push. I don't think you're going to start following the same patterns that we have been seeing for the last five, 10, 15 years. I think that they will start to change. I think, first of all, congrats to Sam Dean. He made like four poop jokes in one mailbag tweet. <laughs> um, there, the September should be a really good time to release movies. You got kids going back to school, so they're going to maybe like want to go on dates with girls and take them to a good movie. But you also, here's the other competition you have, especially in the States, is you have football coming back, and that ruins a weekend. You, you got college football on Saturday, you got NFL mm -hmm. on Sunday. Uh, there's just a lot going on, but you do have that like, you know, parents are putting their kids back in school. We got to do something on the weekend. I'm tired of them being around, you know, whatever. Uh, it, it should be the antithesis of what we're talking about. It should be out there. They should be making good movies in September. Like you said, I mean, we're trending towards every month being somehow profitable. Um, but you're right. September is that forgotten month uh, that we all, like nobody, when you were in school, everybody hated September. Nobody liked September. You got to go back to school. <laughs> but it's also marketing money too, because it's the same reason that you don't see the. You have to realize that people put, the studios put movies out in January time because they feel that, they're not going to do that well. They don't have to spend that much money marketing them, so they put them there. And if they do, that's why a lot of horror movies land in January for sure. They don't cost very much, very little to market, very little to make. So if they make a profit off it in January, it's a win for them. Um, but the same thing in September, that they're going to start using all that money for their big Oscar pushes a little later on down the line. So you'll see stuff in, in the end of September, or the end of October. So the beginning, the end of August and September, they've either spent all their money to market all their stuff that they have coming out in, you know, April through July. Now it's even March through oh, August. Oh, yeah. I mean, and, you, got, yeah. you got Batman v Superman coming out in March. Yep. yep. And, uh, do you think the trend, though, like we had Kung Fu Panda, I think that came out in January. January yeah. Three, and it did very, very well. Do you think there will be a trend now, maybe at least with kids' movies, where they will start hitting up something like January. It, it, there's a there's been a couple of movies. There, there was a few movies that came out in January cuz you know, I've been very vocal about the fact that I think January has sucked and <laughs> the fans have let me know that hey, you got Kung Fu Panda that made money, you had this that made money. There've been a few. So it, it's I think that they're the studios are definitely paying attention to that you can capitalize and I think 
I don't remember. Paddington might have come out in February of last year. It was uh, either January late January or, or early February. Yeah, it came out earlier, I think, in the UK, but it, it had hit the, the States in like January or February. So the kids' movies is a great point. Yeah. Back to school drama, a new genre we're creating yeah. for September. <laughs> hey guys, if you like this clip, click here to watch the entire episode. Also, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel because it'll help you stay up to date with all the stuff we've got going on here at Collider.